You're <clears throat> Sheila Ford Hamp. You're looking at, you're the third person to get a crack at this in your bloodline. The others are 0 for 2. In your first big decision, you had a big whiff. And we'll get into people excusing her in a minute, which is it's just ridiculous that she's absolved for the decision to bring this crew back when she was the one in front of the media explaining all the reasons why it was the right move. But you're Sheila Fordham. What do you do? I, <laughs> I am really high on um, the defensive coordinator for, for the Niners, Robert Sala. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. You got you, it. You need, to bring, you need to bring him home. And I, it's funny because I just watched a clip from Dan Orlowski um, about <clears> – <throat> I can't remember what game it was. This might have been the last game. And they and Salah had planned out like a cover zero with Richard Sherman kind of as the robber. And it was just like genius. And I'm like, we did not see that with Patricia. Patricia was a very was very much Ben don't break, except it broke all the all the goddamn time, right? So yeah, it would it would be nice to bring in someone who kind I don't want to say I, I know thinks outside the box is way too way too common of saying, but I really think that Salah does stuff that other, other guys aren't doing. And he's just, he's just a guy that they, I think they should go after. I think Eric bien is likely going to get an interview as well. And I wouldn't mind him, but I, I think, I think that's the guy that the line should go for, man. I, I, I totally agree. Salah is my guy too. And, you know, we spoke to uh, Ben and I, a good friend of, uh, Robert Sala, who insists that Sala would walk here from San Francisco. That really? He, that he wants the job. And to the point where this gentleman showed us a text message <laughs> from Robert Sala. Wow. About, this is before Patricia was Is this fired. like breaking, are you breaking news right now? I, talk, I, I tweeted this out, but it's just I don't have 100 million followers like you do. So, <laughs> so you know, it's, it's like the Rodney Dangerfield joke. He was doing so poorly, he, he quit, and he was the only one that knew that he quit. You know, it's 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 like I'm not, I don't have your platform, but no, we actually uh, tweeted this out a few days ago. But Sala is dying to come here, and I I saw the text message myself, so this isn't hearsay. You know, from a friend of his, where he basically said he's keeping an eye. It was like uh, keeping an eye on it, and it was like the fingers crossed emoji because uh, my buddy had asked him like, "Hey, coming to Detroit?" And it said keeping an eye on it, fingers crossed. Hey, buddy, thanks for watching. For more stuff, follow at Spiro Avenue on our socials and all that jazz.